Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Mr. GoPro Gamer, and I am back here today with another episode of Minecraft 1.10 Survival, where last time, of course, we uh, broke through the bedrock in the top of the nether. Now, if you haven't figured out why that happened, it is because I want to build a, um, a zombie pigman farm up there to get more gold. And so the way that I am going to build it is I need, here, wait, let me just pull up the numbers. I need um, three, or sorry, four rings of four circles that are 72 block or 75 blocks in diameter with a 25 block op opening circle diameter in the middle. Now. That means that each, um, each, like, circle is going to take 3,932 blocks. And so that means that it's going to take 61.4 stacks of an item to, um, to complete that. Now, I already have the first one completed, just, like, in a chest on top of the nether, or all the materials for it, and then half of the second layer but yeah that was a lot and last time we kind of did to cheat to like get all the stuff back but to get all i made it out of cobbles or stone bricks because they look nice and to get all that stone i had to go mining and as i was strip mining i found all of this i promise I promise i found all of that i went out like a thousand blocks in each direction off from what we already have and i found hang on found uh nine blocks of coal i found seven and then 11 blocks of redstone and then i found a stack in 27 diamonds which that's 10 more diamond blocks which yes last time i said that would throw away one but that was one from these 19. So because I found some more, I'm going to throw away three diamond blocks because of what happened last time. I'm going to throw them away. Actually, no, two. Two. Just kidding, three. I throw them away. Goodbye, diamond blocks. Uh, that, that, that hurts so much because, yeah. But now we have 26 diamond blocks and two diamond so like by themselves then i can make another block of coal right here and yeah which i actually need to take like half of these convert these back into coal here we are put you in there 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 and you in there, and you in there. Okay, so now I can go like that, and like that, and like that, and then I'll go like that, and I'll throw you in there, and you in there, and you in there, and you in there, and boom, 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 and on furnace boom and I'm just gonna throw all of this gold in these chests up here let's just do that and I'll get on to what I'm doing to date oh I need to put that in there okay so today uh it, well I also repaired my pickaxe from last time just stood in front of the mob spawner which I actually got all of this stuff from I got diamond boots, gold stuff, and chain stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. And that that was just some of the armor that I got. The rest of it I just like threw it away because there was so much. Oh, and then also because the chest was full of rotten flesh, I just traded some more emeralds with Mr. Emerald Villager. But, so, railway materials, that's what this is. Right now, it's just the activator rail, because I, I need an iron, here it is. I'm gonna make a railway system, 
that goes from here to the mob spawner because like it's just a pain to go there and back so let's just get some iron right here let's get some more there we go i think rails are made just not like that but like that right yeah so let's just make 48 48 rails should be enough to get everything done but so now where do i want to put this that is the question i want to leave a lot of room around this map so i can like expand it in all directions if i want to make it bigger which you know we're actually on a really big island see because there's a river right there that makes it not connect to that so it is just a very very big island and see it connects right there but that's still an island and yeah yeah so we are in fact on an island so you know i i'm gonna find a place to put like the little place where i'm gonna put the tracks down and then i'll meet you back when i have found like a place to put it you know maybe i could just like make a track right here but yeah i will like be right back okay so i i just like finished clearing out the room and now it's time to make some powered rails so let's just get some more gold in up in here and that's good enough split the gold between there and there and 42 that might be enough for now good convert that back into blo blocks convert this back into blocks and put them in there and there and there perfect uh, now let's just walk over here and set up the little area because i made this little boom got that right there um and we'll like go around the corner with this Oh, I though I do need a minecart. That is something that I do need that I forgot to make. Let's see, perfect five iron, and take that iron to make a minecart. Now, something I've been meaning to do every episode, but have forgotten, is let's just wait. Uh, ah, it's all in there. Okay, let's just grab one of those, make an eye of ender, and, 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 put the obsidian like that, and the ender like that, to make an ender chest. Woo! And voila. See, because I've been meaning to make that, and then just, like, kept forgetting. Does that make it... Or that makes like a magical sounding noise when you open it. Okay, I'm just gonna like put all of that right in there for now. Although I do need a lever. Uh, let's get a button. So right now I'll just make it a wooden button. So I'll get the button right there. And it's weird when you look at buttons because then it looks like your hand's not visible. Perfect. Um, we okay. There we go. Ow, bad. Um, what? Yeah, I think that's like a bug with Minecraft 1.10. It like renames it entity dot um. Minecart right yeah. Um that that that's not that's not your name. That's that's not your name. I I don't think it's feeling okay. But 
now I want to do this cool little contraption right here. Let's just place a torch down here for now. Although I do want to see how far this goes before it like gets slow. Nope. Nope. Come on. Thank you. And here we go. Okay, so I forget that you can't like punch it when you're inside of the minecart. So if we put one like right here, yeah. We, well, this this would be good. But so now I want to run it back here to get I wanna get um oh that's right, this is what I want to get, not that. These some sticky pistons. And 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 these activator veils. Because with them, I am gonna make like a little door type thing. So let's put them. Um, wait. No, okay. I need to. Oopsies. Now I've destroyed way too much right there. Um. I need to bring this out one more block and then everything will be all good right yeah because I need to have a space open right there for the contraption and I'll place everything back like that um, and then I'll do the door thing right uh, right here. So, I need to get these sticky pistons, like that, and sticky pistons can actually, like, push and pull a, that's the wrong way, they can push and pull this thing, right here, what's, what's, a uh, uh, rail, a uh, rail, see? Although, that is facing the wrong way. Now this should work, right? Oh, okay, yeah, it just like changes when it comes into contact with other rails. So now I'm just gonna like wire this all up and then I will be right back. So just sit tight and I'll, then I'll show you how it works when it's done. Wait, wait, let's see if we're gonna do this. Nope. I know I have to go like this. And are you ready? Okay, that didn't work at all. But all I will be right back now that this pushes both sticky pistons. Okay, so I have just finished this little piston door thing. And all it is Earlier I said activator rails, it's not, it's detector rails, if you don't know how to make them, it's like that, with a piece of redstone right here, and a piece, no, and a pressure plate, a stone pressure plate right there. So that's just how you make these detector rails. I have one here, and so when the entity dot minecart writable dot name goes on top of it, it pulls, nope. And it does that, basically. And so it's just a door, because uh, sticky pistons can pull and push minecart rails, and I shouldn't have done that. But when there's nothing on it, it just closes like so. And um, it's wired up down here. There is redstone that goes right here into here, which is an inverter. Same thing with the other one. It just wraps around into here. Um, and then there is a torch right there with a, another torch right there that goes into the two pistons, which currently aren't right there. But yeah, so that's just how it works. Pretty simple. Pretty simple indeed. So you just have this one going into an 
uninverter, and the other one also goes into the inverter. But, you know, I'm gonna place these down. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. Which I actually don't know how it just pushed that, because... I don't know what... Oh, yeah. That might be a problem. I, um, didn't think about that. Okay, I was wondering how that had a block to push. But, yeah, that's where it pushed the block. Hmm. So, I don't think I'm going to be making this any bigger. Like, I still haven't even finished it yet. So, let's just close that up. But then, let's put a uh, rail right there. And let's just keep going this way until we have passed the map. This good? Yeah, this is good. There we go. And now, I want it to be all nice and pretty. So, I just, like, make the floor... The, the stone bricks because why not why not indeed yeah and then I'm also gonna be putting um these the powered rails it's like random places with the detective the detector rails because then that just turns them on and off when the minecart goes over them. So I'm just gonna like keep making this minecart, keep building it out until it gets all the way to the uh, mob spawner. So I will meet you when this is all complete. It's probably gonna take a while, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have um, like put some uh, stone bricks around here. The, I have tunneled it all the way out to the and so it just reaches the mob spawner. Let me just run down this way to show you. Now, I didn't experience a little bit of a problem, which was the fact that the uh, the minecart, where the minecart's gonna go, it runs right through the ocean. So I was digging, and then, yeah, see, this is where all the ocean is, as you can tell from the dripping water on the ceiling, the ocean just right above, and then the uh, little, this place is right over here, and I just move the crafting table and the chest to the opposite side that they were before, because before they were on this side, so I just change it to the opposite side, but yeah, and then we can even, like, go back up out here, and wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, see, see, I have to do, so, I have to find something to do with this because it just like sticks out right here. Although I think it does look kind of cool because it's just like a secret path in the ocean. Well, it's not secret because it's clearly visible, but yeah. So I don't know. I do not know what to do with it. I also don't know why there's, like, this little sharp cliff right here. But, oh, I remember this. I remember that. That's where I was, like, mining once, and I did that to mark where it was that I was mining. But now, I don't even need that because there's a lighthouse right there. That, yeah, I should probably take that down soon. But yeah, so today I made part of a minecart. I'll finish the rest of it off camera just because I want to get this video up. But thank you all for watching this episode of Minecraft 1.10 Survival where we made a minecart track, which I thought was pretty cool. If you thought it was pretty cool, leave a like down below. And um, if there's anything else that you would like me to play, put it in the comment section and I'll play it. So thank you all for watching and I. We'll see y'all next time. If you want, you should go and subscribe to see more videos and to join the pro gamers. Thank you all for watching. Good night. See y'all next time. Goodbye.